Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald the Grim here and welcome to Ingest2 Mobile News. For those of you new to the channel, this is the series where we talk about the challenges that are up and if they are worth farming. We talk about the arena season that is up and if the character is worth grinding for. We talk about the shop and the chests and special offers that are out there and if they are worth your money and your gems. If you have further questions other than the things that I'll talk about, feel free to comment down below and I'll answer your comments uh, as much as I can in my free time. Like this if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it and maybe hit the subscribe button because uh, only 40% of the people that watch my videos are also subscribed like come on guys we can do better than that so with all that being said let's get into it the first thing that we're going to look to into is Hellboy, which will be one of the challenge characters. And uh, big disclaimer, I'm making this from a secondary account, a uh, 4 months old account almost, in order for it to be more relatable to the newer players. So, Hellboy, he's going to have a few things standing up for himself. First of all, the passive. Uh, the increase in damage and defense against arcane opponents can be pretty decent in some scenarios, but is too situational to really take into consideration. But what makes him stand out uh, is that uh, a very he's immune to dot damage and at the same time he heals from the dot damage he receives so that makes him a very good tank against any character that is reliant on dot damage to deal damage and on top of that I don't have him at 3 stars uh, to unlock his special tree yet but uh, his special tree is going to be armor piercing so that's also interesting though nobody has tried yet uh, as at least as far as I know to build him as a as damage dealer so I can't tell for sure but he's going to be an amazing tank and the character I sh you should definitely farm for and the other challenge that is up right now uh, will be uh, the multiverse challenge and in the multiverse challenge you should definitely farm it uh, as far as you can because you require League of Anarchy to farm it uh, come on load already that's it no 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 stop notifying me about solar rates I can see that over there so a multiverse challenge uh, it will uh, feature shards for a lot of multiverse characters multiverse characters are in general very good so you should definitely farm this for that alone and uh, a few interesting things is that uh, for right now in the arena store you can't find gears for the uh, flash and for uh, White Canary. While White Canary is not a problem since you are not going to use her anymore, uh, the Flash is going to be a problem not having gears for him and you can farm this even one difficulty if you are able to because that's what I'm doing myself. Oh my god I didn't farm today those difficulties, let's go, let's go. The thing is that over here as you can see you have chances to also drop gears for them and while the other characters gears can be gotten from other places uh, it will be pretty good if you drop gears for Multiverse Flash or White Canary from here because those gears can't be found anywhere. With all that being said, let's get into the next section which will be the arena season character. Next up, coming up, we have Black Adam. First of all, let's take a look at his passive. Uh, he's immune to power, uh, uh, to increase power abilities. Uh, that means uh, stuff like Multiverse Black Lightning or Horrific Scarecrow. He has a 55% chance uh, to stun on Dagon. Of course, that increases a little bit with uh, the star ups. Uh, he is going to receive a power boost on Special 1 that stacks 5 times. And uh, he's going to steal 5 power bars with his Special 3. Steal means that you will at the same time power drain the opponent and gain the bars for yourself. Uh, next up, his uh, special one will uh, increase the power generation and at the same time uh, will be able uh, to have a chance to reduce your team power cost for your abilities. While in some specific scenarios this can be useful, if you have a Dr. Fate or Power Girl in your team you will not really need to do this, except for maybe once in, at the start of the boss battle to use a super move early. And next up, Storm Cloud is going to be an ability that will increase, uh, decrease the opponent's uh, damage and at the same time uh, in, uh, increase his uh, power costs uh, of his abilities. This is going to be yet again an amazing ability, but not an ability that you really need to use. And his third ability will be Electric Burst, the thing that you will most likely use. It has a chance to steal power bars and is going to deal some damage. So, if this, if this ability alone uh, had uh, a guarantee to steal power bars instead of a chance, he might have been one of the best, if not the best character in Just2 Mobile. But unfortunately it's a chance so it will fail you sometimes. But nevertheless, this guy will be an amazing character. He's uh, pretty good, pr pretty solid, a pretty damn solid damage dealer in raids if you have him built properly. And the an amazing character in arena and champions arena so definitely go ahead and farm him he is one of the best damage dealers uh, that you can get from the arena seasons with all that being said let's move on into the store section. okay now getting into the store section we are going to start with the arkham knight power up chest and please please don't tell me you bought this and please don't buy this because while it says an eight percent chance to get uh, hero shards 
uh, in the, it's pretty weird because it says Arkham Knight, Batman, Hero, and then in the next row, Shards. You're going to get Shards, and uh, it can be an 88% chance to get uh, 20 Shards. And this is not a reliable way to unlock Arkham Knight Batman, even if you want him specifically. And uh, the fact that you have a 15% chance to receive Arkham Knight Batman gear is going to be, uh, uh, not 25, a 15% chance to receive Arkham Knight uh, gear is going to be 100% wasted because you'll get all his gears through an achievement as you unlock him and the other rewards are pretty bad for the price definitely stay away from this chest even if you want to unlock Arkham Knight Batman this is not the way to do it shared reality shared reality I have a separate chest review on this one uh, basically the uh, summarize of that chest review though I will link it down in the description if you want a more in-depth analysis the heroes I can get from here are pretty good this chest is a pretty good deal if you are unable to get them from the arena seasons since all of them are more or less in the arena seasons and you can get them from there so only go for this chest if you have trouble getting them from the arena seasons and you really want those specific characters but on the other hand don't get them now because we are getting very close to the 4th of July and on 4th of July as they do everywhere they are very likely to do a big sale uh, with all that being said, let's move on to the next one, Suicide Squad Enchantress Legendary Chest. Nope, don't go for this one, it's going to be too expensive for everything that it gives, and if you really want Suicide Squad Enchantress, try the Suicide Squad Chest, because over there you have chances for Suicide Squad Enchantress, Harley and Deadshot. And Suicide Squad Enchantress will be more or less useless, not really useless, but not very effective without the full Suicide Squad team. And also, even if you unlock her, you will not get her gears and you will need to either get them from another chest that will have unfair chances, or you will need to pay, buy them from the special offers with real money. Premium chest, Hellboy is a pretty decent character, while there are better characters in the premium chests, uh, this, this one is going to be still pretty good, pretty solid, so if you are a new player and looking for new characters, you could try this premium chest, it, it has a pretty solid character in it. Uh, next up, the special offers. So we have over here two three star, uh, a three star bundle and a four star bundle for Black Adam. As I have said, Black Adam is going to be an amazing character, but uh, I wouldn't really rush to buy uh, his uh, offers because, uh, first of all, they are kind of expensive for a three or four star character in a video game, in my opinion, at the very least. But it's up to you what you do with your money. Just getting that out of the way and that on the other hand he will be available in the arena seasons as he is now so you can unlock him from there the uh, black adam gear pack i don't think it has a purpose since they are in the arena store i hope they are still in the arena store they were before the update so hopefully they still are there and the last thing that we will be taking a look at will be the Dawn of Apocalypse Defender, which will be up for 20 bucks, and this is going to be a pretty interesting one. So you'll get chances to get some of those artifacts at uh, some levels. You are very likely to get them to level 1 because uh, that is the highest chance. So uh, while go getting into this, start with this mindset that you're going to get uh, one of the new artifacts at level 1 because the other chances are going to be very slim and you'll be very lucky if you do so, but you're not likely to do so. Next up, out of the all the new artifacts, uh, there, will be, there will be no father box over here. So that is also worth keeping in mind. Uh, and father box is going to be the best of the new artifacts, so you will be missing that from this uh, selection of uh, artifacts. And other than that, the artifacts over here are going to be uh, outside of the solo raids. Uh, some good, some mediocre. Heart of Darkness and uh, uh, Entropy Aegis are going to be good artifacts. And uh, Electro S, X, Radian and uh, Road X are going to be some of the mediocre artifacts, some of them bad artifacts. But when it comes to solo raids, all of them and any artifact from here will be an amazing artifact because it will give you that solo raids exclusive passive by giving you a ton of health and a ton of attack. So uh, this will really help new players boost their progress through raids. So if you were ever looking to spend money in just to mobile, this uh, is going to be a pretty good opportunity to do so, because by buying this, at, in one hand you will get one of the new artifacts, and on the other hand, you will have your progress through solo raids tremendously boosted and in enhanced. Uh, to be honest, uh, on this account, uh, I don't have any apocalyptic artifacts yet, Apocalypse artifacts and I am very tempted to buy this but I'm not going to buy this for the simple purpose that I have started this account uh, uh, Along with you guys who have been following my channel ever since and I have promised you that I'll keep it free to play But if that was not the case, I would definitely buy one of those to boost my progress through solo raids 
So with all that being said, wait, is there any other special offer that we didn't take a look at? I don't think so. Now this is everything. So with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, comment down below for any questions that you might have. Please subscribe for more content like this and maybe hit that bell button so you don't miss an upload. See you in the next one.